Hello friends, this video on loss of motion part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exams. Please make sure that you have watched part 1 and 2 before going ahead with part 3. Newton's first law of motion. First law states that a body at rest tends to remain at rest and a body in uniform motion tends to remain in uniform motion until and unless an external force is applied on it. Do you see that inertia has a major role in this law? Just before some time I explained you what is inertia. Inertia was that a body at rest wants to be at rest and a body in motion wants to be in motion. That was inertia. So first law also tells a very similar thing that a body at rest will be at rest until and unless we apply an external force. Because body due to its inertia will not like to move. Similarly, a body which is in the state of uniform motion. In that case also, the body will not like to stop unless and until we apply an external force on it. Let us take an example. Suppose the ball is at rest. This ball will remain at rest until and unless we apply an external force on the ball. Similarly, if a ball is in uniform motion, it will keep moving with the uniform velocity until and unless some external force stops it. So the first law basically deals with two cases. A body at rest and a body in uniform motion. So what is the similarity between the two things? Body at rest. In case of body at rest, the net force is zero. In case of body in uniform motion, the net force is again zero. So the first law deals with only the scenarios where the net force is equal to zero. That is body at rest and body in uniform motion. So very simple to remember, a body at rest will be at rest until we apply an external force. Similarly, a body in uniform motion will remain in uniform motion until we apply an external force. When we talk of Newton's first law, it is also very important to introduce the terms balanced and unbalanced forces. So what are balanced forces? Balanced forces are equal and opposite forces. That is equal and opposite. That means the forces act in opposite direction and the forces are equal in magnitude. That means F1 is equal to F2 and F1, F2 acts in opposite direction. They do not cause any change in motion since equal amount of force is applied on both the directions therefore the object on which the force is applied does not move at all it neither moves to the right nor to the left because both the sides this equal force is applied so the balanced forces do not cause any change in motion that means if the object is at rest it will be at rest if it is in motion it will be in motion let's take an example that is tug of war you all must have played tug of war sometimes before in your childhood or something. So how is it? It is something like there are two teams, say team A and team B. Both of them pull a rope. Now these team A applies a force in this direction. Team B applies a force in this direction. Let us say this force is F2 and this force is F1. Now, if both the sides, the forces applied are equal, if F1 is equal to F2, in that case, there is no movement at all. That means they will also push in this direction, they will also push in this direction. So, as a result, they all will be in the same position. Neither, they, neither there will be a movement this side, nor there will be a movement that side. So, that is how it is in tug of war. If both the teams are applying equal force, there is no motion at all. Now let us look at unbalanced forces. Unbalanced forces are unequal forces. These forces can be in the same or opposite direction. That means if F1 and F2 are the two forces, they will not be equal to each other. And this scenario is also possible. 
that f1 and f2 are in opposite direction this scenario is also possible that is f1 and f2 are in the same direction these forces unbalanced forces causes a change in the motion whichever direction the force is more the body tends to move in that direction so let us take the same tug of war example here let us suppose this team applies a force f1 along this side this team gives a force f2 along this side now let us suppose the force which this team a applies is greater than the force which team b applies that means let us suppose f1 is greater than f2 so in that case how will it be the motion will be along this direction that means team b will get dragged towards team a so so i think now it is clear balanced and unbalanced forces balanced means equal and opposite forces they will not cause any change in the motion whereas unbalanced forces means they are unequal forces they can be in the same or in the opposite direction and they cause a change in motion now what we will do we will do a review of balanced and unbalanced forces just to differentiate both of them this was the scenario of balanced force this was the scenario of unbalanced force just observe carefully that in the unbalanced force the entire system got displaced along this side which is because the force along this side is greater than the force on the opposite side now let us review the newton's first law using balanced and balanced forces concept what did we study in newton's first law the newton's first law said that a body at rest tends to remain at rest and a body in uniform motion tends to remain in uniform motion until and unless an external force is applied on it that means if a body is at rest that means it is under the action of balanced forces where the net force is equal to zero similarly when a body is in uniform motion that means it is under the action of balanced forces balanced forces because galileo had already told that force is required to keep a body in uniform motion if resistive forces are present now if we see practically in all around us resistive forces are present everywhere either in the form of friction or in the form of viscous forces or anything so resistive forces are present everywhere that means an external force is needed to keep a body in uniform motion but that external force gets cancelled by another force which acts in the opposite direction that is why the net force on a body in uniform motion is equal to zero that means when a body is in uniform motion it is under the effect of balanced forces balanced forces means equal and opposite forces so what are the two equal and opposite forces one is the frictional force and the other one is the applied force in the opposite direction and these two forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction so the body in uniform motion is under the action of balanced forces that is why there is no change in the state of motion that is the body which is in uniform motion will remain in uniform motion until and unless some external force on top of this force is applied on it such that the net external force increases becomes more than the frictional force and then there is a motion of the body i hope it is clear now now let us look at the same examples which we saw in this case the body is at rest so the body will remain at rest until we apply some external force on it and in the second case the body is in motion so the body will keep moving until and unless it is stopped by some external force or it is the motion is varied but by some external force otherwise without any external force there will be no change in the state of motion so in brief let us quickly discuss newton's first law what was the new basis of newton's first law of motion galileo's law of inertia what did galileo what was the basis of galileo's law of inertia galileo's law of inertia took birth from aristotle's law now we will have a quick review just hear it as a story aristotle's law told said that a body 
which is in uniform motion an external force has to be present on the body continuously that means when a body is in uniform motion the net force on it is not zero then galileo corrected aristotle's theory what did he say he said that an external force is needed to keep a body in uniform motion only if the resistive forces are present so he added this clause of only if resistive forces are present to aristotle's law galileo also added that a body in uniform motion will have net force is equal to zero now after galileo gave this law of inertia came into picture newton's first law of motion which stated that a body at rest and a body in uniform motion will remain at rest and in uniform motion respectively until some external force is applied on it now using the concept of balanced forces we see that a body which is in uniform motion is basically under the action of balanced forces that is equal and opposite forces on one direction we have friction and on the other direction we have the applied force the both the forces are equal and equal in magnitude and opposite in direction then there is no change in motion of the body therefore the body keeps moving with uniform velocity so now i hope that you are very clear with what is newton's first law and how did newton first law came into picture so it start the story started with aristotle's law which was falsified by galileo's law of inertia and then came into picture newton's first law of motion thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and my